gloves do what they're supposed to do. Super grip, comfortable stretch knit, reversible vinyl grid. Aguare super estal tejido. I think. <laughs> Unboxing the hand master utility grade super grip work glove. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna put these to the test, baby. Got boxes to do. Got crazy boxes. I got 267 units right here at the first stop. 150 at the next, 162 at the next, 189 at the next, 153 at the next, 103 at the next, 161 at the next, 137 at the next, 238 units at the last stop. And I think the crew is here. These gloves do real well too for loading and unloading. Uh, this is rubber like stuff, you know? Sticky, sticky, sticky. But these gloves sweat, get your hand hot. I mean, these gloves make your hand sweat because they get your hand real hot. The yellow gloves are best for loading and unloading. These gloves are next for loading and unloading. But neither one of these gloves work too well for your landing gear because you don't want them to stick to the landing gear. I have yet to see landing gear that works properly. In other words, when you hold on to the landing gear, it's supposed to spin around and rotate. I have yet to see one that actually does that. The ball bearings inside the, the handle, the grip, never rotates. It's usually worn out, so you really need These are called Jersey gloves. They don't come from Jersey. In fact, I don't know where they come from. That's interesting. Oh, you know where they come from. Made in China. Just like everything else. But anyway, these are called Jersey gloves. You'll find these anywhere. Of course, you get them cheapest at a dollar store. Those other gloves you'll find at a lot of places. You may or may not find them in a dollar store, but you will find them at your big box stores, you know. And of course, you'll find them at some truck stops, which is where you pay the most for them. Don't throw that on the ground when you open your new gloves either, man. See the difference? See, this is not going to turn. That's a wrap. It's not going to turn. Got this. That's a pain in the butt.
listen, I tell you what, women are showing off today. <laughs> That's all I got word for this topic. <laughs> Y'all are showing off today. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. Drivers scared to touch freight. Drivers won't touch freight. The ladies up in here hollering the freight up to the top like that. Taller than them. You know what I mean? Drivers crying. Oh no, I ain't touching no freight. I ain't touching no freight. <laughs> ladies showing the oil. I gotta step up, dudes. Y'all gotta step up. Men everywhere. Men everywhere. Slack. Slacking. Scared to work. Scared of physical labor. Scared to be responsible and raising the children. Yeah, you know some some truck drivers won't even haul freight that they gotta touch. I know it. <laughs> and, then, and then you know, I, I I go some places where guys working and so it's doing what you're doing. Yeah. In between everybody, so looking like they stand there and stop for ten seconds, <laughs> hating the fact that they got to got to load it. You know, it's just crazy. They just don't want to work. I mean, that's, that's they just lazy. That's all. Ain't no other way to say it. Laziness. I've had harder work than this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Are you from out this way? No, I'm well, originally from Oklahoma. Oh, but yeah. Moved to California, lived in California for 20, 30 years, and lived here about four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what made you come out this way? like the weather and I was tired of California. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he must have been in the city somewhere in California. Yeah. <laughs> this place had one stoplight in the whole county when I moved here. Now it's got two. Oh. Is it growing a lot or is it? Yeah, it's starting to. Oh, yeah. What is it uh, that's bringing the people in? Well, they started building a spaceport out here. Oh, yeah, I've seen a couple of I see somebody sticking stickers all on the sign. Yeah. Have you seen that? The little yellow yeah, stickers? Straight out that way over the hills, they're building a spaceport to send people to outer space. Oh. At $150,000 a ticket. Oh, they, uh, this is where they're building the little, uh, the, the, uh, somebody, it's a business venture. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you're crazy myself. <laughs> I wouldn't go out there. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm that quite that adventurous either. No. <laughs> Y'all ready to get out of here? Hiking through the mountains will do me just fine. 